Now, the Earth radii at 3963 miles is the word Patmos in the Greek concordance. And that is the isle where the Archangel Michael, who looks exactly like Jesus, looked exactly like the... In 33 In 30, the younger, the younger Brian, who... Uh, my angel today is Gabriel. Yes. John mistook him for Jesus and was rebuked by the angel. Now the face angle of the pyramid is the pi angle, which is the same angle formed when human bones are ground to a powder and poured in a pile. It forms the angle 51 degrees, 51 minutes and 14.3 seconds. The same number as miles, 51 degrees, 51 minutes, 14.3 seconds, being 51511.43 miles divided by 13 is 3962.41769230769230769230766. I guess that's repeating. <laughs> miles or the Earth radii times 2 is a diameter of 7924.8353846146 Again, bah, it goes on forever there. Miles. <laughs> uh, Diameter of the earth. Yes. Now, you will, after I've finished talking, see these uh, diagrams that you always got here. Now, I'm looking... Oh, wow. Uh, which is that 0.4930... It's just the sub The sub number. The sub number of the moon. Now, it's the, the angle. Yeah, the angle. The moon rises above the horizon. Horizon, okay. Now, this number is, it means end in the Greek concordance, meaning the end of the world. It's a prophecy. The distance to the pyramid is the word prophecy. It will be a full moon at 9.18 universal time. Sub 10's number, number 0 0.4930 degrees. The distance to the moon will be 63.3 Earth radii. And that's a reference, of course, to Isaiah 63, verse 3. The age of the moon, 14 days, 18 hours, 21 minutes. And the distance, 404,000 kilometres. Now, 4930 in the Hebrew dictionary is a peg or a nail. That's a reference to Isaiah 22, verse 23. 4930 in the Greek dictionary, from 4931, means entire completion. That is consummation of a dispensation. End. Now there are two prophecies. First one is Isaiah, and it predicts the end time. The king will be fixed in a sure place. That is, the world when it ends, like a nail holds something fixed in place. This is the quote, And I will fasten him as a nail in a sure place, and he shall be for a glorious throne to his father's house. There are two prophecies. The end of the world, which Jesus, Brian as Jesus, Predicted in Matthew and Mark, the prophecy reveals how the angels will begin to reap the souls of evil men and cast them into the fire. Quoting from Matthew 13, verse 39, The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. So that's where we are at from that point in time. The end of the world. The harvest. Then verse 40 goes on, As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be in the end of this world. 41. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity. So anything that offends Yahweh will be taken out of the kingdom. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, 
and them which do iniquity. The term means the Christ in the kingdom, not the Jesus or Yahweh, but the physical presence of Christ, who is the Trinity on the earth at the time of the end, Lord Jesus Christ. All angels will respond and begin the cleansing of evil out of the world. It means death. Verse 42, And shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. You better believe it, because I mean it. Oh, totally. You've been waiting for this for a very long mm -hmm. time. Because just over 800 days to go. Yeah. Okay, then recognize the Son as the Father, Yahweh. Verse 43 goes on to say, Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. The distance to the moon will be 63.3 earth radii, and this is Isaiah 63. When the Lord is seen coming from modern Sodom, covered in blood, and has not been able to find one soul worth saving. That was upon your return from the USA. And who are these ladies we've seen the last few days? These ladies, well, one lady in particular, uh, her name is Kim, a store operator. Locally, we walked in together uh, a few days ago having to pick up some mail from the post office and she's a um, very connected lady. She told me, well, I've already mentioned in, in the last video, but uh, I went back with Jeremy to talk more with her as we mailed Sherry Kay. We mailed your parcel, darling. <laughs> should get it in a few days with instructions for your husband there. Um, yes, yeah, she started to talk more how... While you and I were standing there as we were talking on the first day, she saw Yahweh as this brain, just all brain, this massive universal brain. <laughs> and then she said she saw me as the light. And of course, um, uh, that's, that's what it is. Yahweh is the brains behind the operation and Ashra is the light that came forth out of his side. And he's explained before in one of his other creation videos that um, he existed as dark matter, 100% dark matter. And then at, after the, you know, from the thought of the beginning of the creation, the first sound that came forth was uh, the, the bringing forth of Asherah from his side. And that sound, being the first sound heard in the universe, uh, I was actually coached in it along the way, my journey in finding you. And it's a sound of, and that was the light that was created from your side being 10% of the universe. And uh, so she was very accurate. Then she also continued to tell me that she saw, um, she was getting a real sense of blood splattering all over the place. And of course that's reference to the Isaiah prophecy about having trodden the winepress alone and crushing the nations. Uh, and um, it's, it's, the it's the blood of the nations splattering against the white garment, which is the Holy Ghost worn on the outside of uh, Yahweh today, of course. So, it's been very exciting. She also told me uh, on that second interview that uh, she saw that entire area where she was living flooding, like a valley it was flooding. And then she asked me, was that possible? And I, I didn't even answer it. I was about to answer it. No, it was more of a, and she said straight away, or is it a spiritual condition? She said because the flood actually came down the road from Sedgwick, which is, of course, is where we are, and um, she's right. It would be that um, washing of that entire valley as the news goes forth and, and um, our presence is made known in that area. It's not only herself, I met her children as well, they know who we are, 